From these 14 Maheshwar Sutras, we get Sanskrit Varnamala. In Sanskrit Varnamala, there are 9 vowels and 33 consonants. In Sanskrit, vowels are known as ach and consonants are known as hal. So, there are 9 ach and 33 hal. 9 ach plus 33 hal is equal to 42 letters. So, in Sanskrit Varnamala, there are 42 letters. These 14 Maheshwar Sutras, you can see every last letter is having oblique line. The letters with oblique line are Na, Ka, Gya, Cha, Ta, Na, Ma, Ya, Sha, Sha, Va, Ya, Ra, La. This sign is called Halanta in Sanskrit. In Sanskrit Varnamala, the last letter is not counted. Why these last letters are not counted? This I will explain in Pratyahar video. Let us understand what is Swar, that is vowels. In Sanskrit, Swar is known as Ach. Swai Rajante Iti Swara, meaning the letters that are self-pronounced by themselves are called Swar. That is, the letters that does not require help of any other letter for their pronunciation are called Swar. Swar are self-sufficient and independent in their pronunciation. There are 9 Swar in Sanskrit Varnamala which are A, E, U, R, L, A, O, I, O. In Sanskrit, Swar is known as Ach. Now, why it is known as Ach? Because Ach is a Pratyahar which has 9 Swar of Sanskrit Varnamala. What is Pratyahar? This I will cover in detail in my next video. As of now, just understand that Ach is a Pratyahar which has 9 Swar of Sanskrit Varnamala. Under these 9 Swar, there are two categories, Mul Swar and Sanyukta Swar. Let us see what are Mul Swar. O, E, U, R, L. These 5 letters are Mul Swar because they are self-sufficient and independent. That is, these letters do not require help of any other letter for their formation. Now, let us see what are Sanyukta Swar. A, O, I, O. These 4 letters are Sanyuk Swar because these letters are formed with the help of 2 Swar. That is, the letters that are formed with the help of 2 Swar are known as Sanyukta Swar. Let us see how they are formed. O plus E is equal to A. O plus O is equal to O. O plus A is equal to I. O plus, plus O is equal to O. In Vedic Sanskrit, pronunciation of Swar has a very important role to play as literal meaning is changed if pronunciation of Swar is not done properly. As stated by Maharishi Panini in Ashtadhyay in Ukalu Jaswadir Kaplitaha Sutram, these nine Swar are classified into three types based on the time taken for their pronunciation. Char, Raswa, Dirga, and Plutaha. Maharshi Panini beautifully explains how the pronunciation timing of these swaras are like. He gives the following example. In the morning, we hear the crooning of the rooster, that is, the calling of the rooster. So he compares the timing required for the pronunciation of these swaras to the call of the rooster. The call of the rooster in the morning is ko 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 ko. If you hear the sound, you will notice the sound of swar u is present in the croning of the rooster, which is ko ko ko. So u swar is being emphasized over here. So Panini is saying just like the swar u have three timing of pronunciation, which is u u u. It is rasva dirga and pluta. So is the ninth swara have relevant timing of pronunciation. Now in this sutra, swar u is being taken and kal means timing. So in Sanskrit, this kal is expressed. That is timing of the vowels is expressed in terms of matra. This we will understand further. 
As we have learnt in previous slide that nine swaras are classified into three types based on the time taken for their pronunciation, which are rasva, dirga, and plut. We have also seen that Maharishi Panini, by giving the example of swar u, he have said that all the nine swar have respective classification as per the time required for their pronunciation. Let us understand first rasva swara ek matrikam uchcharan kal. स्वर रस्व इति उच्चयते विच मीन्स स्वर वॉवल्स दैट टेक वेरी लिटिल टाइम दैट इज वन मात्रा यूनिट ऑफ टाइम इन दर प्रोनाउंसिएशन आर कॉल रस्व स्वर अ फाइव स्वर ऑल्सो नोन एज मूल स्वर टेक वेरी लिटिल टाइम फॉर दर प्रोनाउंसिएशन सो दे आर ऑल्सो नोन एज रस्व स्वर सो मूल स्वर आर नोन एज रस्व स्वर बिकॉज दे टेक वेरी लिटिल टाइम फॉर दर प्रोनाउंसिएशन इन संस्कृत रस्व मीन्स शॉर्ट दीज फाइव लेटर्स टेक वेरी लिटिल टाइम दैट इज शॉर्ट टाइम फॉर दर प्रोनाउंसिएशन दिस इज द रीजन दीज फाइव लेटर्स आर नोन एज रस्व स्वर एक मातृकम एक मीन्स वन एंड यूनिट ऑफ टाइम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दर प्रोनाउंसिएशन इज एक्सप्रेस इन मात्रा सो दीज फाइव स्वर आर ऑल्सो नोन एज एक मात्रिक वर्ण लेट अस सी नाउ दीर्घ स्वर ई मात्रिकम उच्चारण काल स्वर दीर्घ इति उच्चयते विच मीन्स स्वर दैट टेक्स ट्वाइस द टाइम दैट इज टू माता कंपेयर टू रस्व स्वर इन दर प्रोनाउंसिएशन आर कॉल दीर्घ स्वर लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दीर्घ स्वर आर फॉर्म यर वी हैव फाइव मूल स्वर ऑल्सो नोन एज रस्व स्वर अ इज हैविंग वन मात्रा वेन अ इज प्रोनाउंसड विथ टू मात्रा इट बिकम्स आई हैव वन मात्रा ई वेन प्रोनाउंसड विथ टू मात्रा इट बिकम्स ई ऊ हैव वन मात्रा ऊ वेन प्रोनाउंसड विथ टू मात्रा इट बिकम्स U R have one matra when pronounced with two matra becomes R. Swar Li does not have any dirga form, as stated in U Kalu Jasva Dirga Pluta Sutra. Tram all dirga swar are formed with the help of two rasva swar, and hence they are also called sanyuk swar or sandhi swar. In simple language, these lines means the letters that are formed with the help of two swar are also called as dirga swar. In previous slide, we have seen that the, there are four sanyukt swar that are formed with the help of two swar. That is, a plus e is equal to a, a plus o is equal to o, a plus a is equal to i, a plus o is equal to o. Which means these four sanyukt swar are also known as dirga swar. So there are eight dirga swar, which are a, e, u, r, a, o, i, o. As time required for the pronunciation of dirga swara is two matra, that is dwi. In Sanskrit, the number two is is known as dwi. So dirga swara is also known as the matric swar. Next is pluta swara. Tri matrikam uchcharan kal swara pluta iti uchchayate. Pluta swar or protracted vowels means the swar that takes twice the time in compared to rasva swar, that is tri matra in their pronunciation are called pluta swar. For cognition of pluta swar, three is written next to it. Only these nine swara, that is uch, have these pluta form. That is, you will never find a vyanjan with a protracted or pluta form. In Vedic Sanskrit, you will see many examples of pluta swara. As more emphasis is placed on the pronunciation of mantra, a is having a protracted or pluta form as a. You can see the extended time. So a is a pluta swar because three is written next to it, which indicates that the pronunciation time required is long or protracted. Vedic Sanskrit is a scientific language, meaning what we pronounce in Vedic Sanskrit should be written as it is, as different pronunciation have different meaning. So if the pronunciation is changed, the meaning also changes. So there is lot of emphasis placed on the pronunciation in Vedic Sanskrit. Let us see some example of Pluta Swara. First is Oh, this you will see in many Vedic scriptures. 
ओम रिटन लाइक दिस सो ओ इज़ अ प्लुतस वर बिकॉज थ्री इज रिटन नेक्स्ट टू इट नेक्स्ट इज अ भगवद गीता श्लोका विच इज अ कर्म योग तो अ इज अ प्रोट्रैक्टेड ऑफ प्लुतस वर बिकॉज थ्री इज रिटन नेक्स्ट टू इट प्लुतस वर आर ओनली यूज इन वैदिक संस्कृत दैट इज यू विल नेवर फाइंड प्लुतस वर इन क्लासिकल संस्कृत और इन हिंदी लैंग्वेज एज टाइम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द प्रोनाउंसिएशन ऑफ प्लुतस वर इज थ्राइज द टाइम कंपेयर टू दिस वर सो दीज स्वर आर ऑल्सो नोन एज थ्री मात्रिक वर्ण द नंबर थ्री इन संस्कृत मीन्स थ्री सो दे आर नोन एज थ्री मात्रिक वर्ण संस्कृत वर्णमाला द्वाविशति ही स्वर वर्ण संति विच मीन संस्कृत वर्णमाला दैट इज संस्कृत अल्फाबेट द्वाविशति ही इन संस्कृत द नंबर ट्वेंटी टू इज नोन एज द्वाविशति ही स्वर वर्ण दैट इज स्वर संति means there are 22 swar in sanskrit varnamala let us conclude this slide initially we saw there are nine swar in sanskrit varnamala of which five are mool swar and four are sanyukt swar then as stated by panini in ashtadhyay u kalu swadirgha plutah sutram these nine swar are classified into three types based on the time taken for their pronunciation which are rasva dirgha and plutha so there are five rasva swar eight dirgha swar and nine plutha swar so there are total 22 swar in sanskrit varnamala let us conclude this slide by reading the swar in the following manner a a e e u u ri ri e a i o o and all these nine plutha swara are more relevant in their pronunciation when we chant a vedic mantra or vedic shloka this plutha swara pronunciation we will learn more when i do the videos on vedic mantra pronunciation in next video we will see vyanjan that is from the remaining 14 maheshwar sutras how the 33 consonants that is vyanjan are formed kindly subscribe to my channel thank you for watching